life before CAP was stressful? I was involved in gang activity and you know, being brought up in the ghetto and I was around a lot of drugs and that and even violence and you know, a lot of bad people. I just feel like I just want to stay home, don't want to answer any phone calls, don't want to go out, don't want to meet the friends. I actually had to go to Wins to see Wins about paying some of my power bill and some of the debt I was getting into. I was addicted to drugs, um, went through an abusive marriage, um, came debt free for a little while and become in debt again. So went through all those same struggles as I was going through in my marriage. I was struggling, things were to actually getting worse. I separated with my wife and I left with uh, Deb. I got a phone call from the SIF and um, I've been told that my kids have been taken away from their mom. When I moved to Auckland, um, I found it's very hard to get the job as I do not have any particular skills. I found out about CAPS through um, a course. And he told me it was a budgeting service and they're church based and I thought, right, well, well, yeah, I'll check it out. I think I was just spilling the beans about how poor I was and how I struggled for food and, and that and she quickly gave me a pamphlet. I took the pamphlet home and sort of read it and and then I rang. Well I'll take the gamble and you know it's something different. So yeah I took the gamble and I went with it. I feel like very comfortable with them and I just opened myself. They encouraged me to work for my debt. Caring enough to help people get out of debt, so it was, it was like I was dancing on air for a while, just sort of, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool, it was a cool feeling. I need someone to hold my hand, I need someone to stand by me, and the cap done it. The stress is gone, uh, the worrying is gone. You know, I don't have to worry about saving to take the kids to the doctors or telling them that you can only go to the doctors if you're if you're dying <laughs> if it's really desperate that was a life changing decision for me and it's yeah i can say that cap changed my life being amongst a wednesday caps group and being part of a caps family and also most of all being part of of um, Bible studies and, and learning a lot more about the Lord and getting to know the Lord. I've been baptised. Life is getting better and better. Having God in my life um, is a lot more peaceful too. It's brought a lot of peace. I got my all the friends back. I got my family back. I'm proud of myself. I made that decision to join a camp and live this life now. Everything's just a lot more lighter now. Everything's a lot more lighter and way more peaceful. I'm glad I took that risk and I took that chance and that has prospered for me. Amen. Hi there, my name is John Kirkby. I'm the founder and international director with Christians Against Poverty. I just want to read this to you in Isaiah. Isaiah says this, he says, if you spend yourself on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed. Clients like Tracy, who's struggling to feed her children, and Alpesh, as you can see, desperate and broken through debt and the problems that he found in his life. You need to know that through Christians Against Poverty, we have got an amazing solution that helps families in your country whose lives are devastated as a result of debt and the associated poverty. We've been here for three years. We've already got 10 centres and we've already helping over 250 families here in New Zealand escape the grinding poverty that debt brings into people's lives. Not only do we bring the great help through our debt counselling and our support, 
but also through our churches and our workers we bring the good news of Jesus into people's lives. And already since we started, we've seen 81 people not only see their lives transformed through our day counselling work, but also find Jesus Christ as their personal saviour. We've got an amazing vision. We're hoping to see over 40 Christians Against Poverty Centres throughout New Zealand to add to the 10 we've already got. And we simply cannot do that without people like you doing what you can do and financially supporting our work here in New Zealand. Get hold of one of our forms, one of our life-changing forms. Fill it in. Fill those boxes in. Spend yourself. And the promises that are in Isaiah 58 are for you and for your family. Please, will you join with us? Let's do what we can to see poverty and debt removed from your nation. And over the next few years, together with God and with his churches, we'll see that vision become a reality. And thank you so much for all you do to support the amazing work of Christians Against Poverty here in New Zealand.